Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here, and this is the iPhone 13 Pro. It's launch day, and this is my first Pro iPhone, the iPhone 13 Pro in Sierra Blue. So let's get on with the unboxing. So it's that time of year again. This time it's the turn of the 13. This is the iPhone 13 Pro base model with 128 gigabytes of storage on board. No plastic cover in the box akin to Apple looking after the environment more. Also available in silver, gold and graphite colors with additional storage options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes and one terabyte options. I feel like these smaller boxes have made opening the boxes a lot easier. In the box you get the familiar literature. If anyone uses the Apple sticker for anything, just let me know in the comments below. A lightning to USB-C cable, but remember, no USB adapter. So you'll have to purchase one of these separately if you don't already have one. Let's move on to the phone. This year's non-max model has bulked up a bit from last year, now weighing 203 grams. One of the major updates to this year's series is the upgrade of the cameras. The pros now feature a vastly improved telephoto, ultra-wide and wide camera. And for the first time ever on an iPhone, you can take macro photos with the ultra-wide lens. The Super Retina XDR display screen, still 6.0 inches with ceramic shield bordered by the surgical grey stainless steel around its edge, which have a definite fingerprint magnet as you can see. On the back, the bigger camera is surrounded by that familiar from last year frosted glass finish. We've still got lightning on the bottom, but would you expect anything different? Another major feature is the notch, not removed but slightly smaller, and ProMotion. Like on the iPad Pro since 2017, both Pros have 120Hz adaptive refresh displays which vary the refresh rate depending on what you're doing. Just a few of those amazing new things that you're going to be able to do on the new iPhone 13 Pro. So that's the iPhone 13 Pro in Sierra Blue. I'm very excited to use some of the new features, especially since I'm coming from an iPhone 11. So this is a major change for my daily driver. If there's any videos you want to see me do on this iPhone, just let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today, I'll see you on the next one, bye.